Good morning, you guys. It is October 14, and this morning I'm just getting ready because we are headed to go see Baby Hopkins. It's my 28 week sonogram. I'm so excited. We haven't seen her in two months. So I'm just gonna get ready really quick with you guys. Um, Mo is getting ready in our bedroom, but we are running a little behind, so I'm gonna do this really quick. And um, using my Drunk Elephant skincare that I've been loving, putting a little bit of vitamin C and oil, and I'm just gonna moisturize my face a little bit. And then I think I just might do like a little bit of concealer um, since I'll be vlogging with you guys. So I'm just gonna brighten up, look a little bit more awake than I do right now. But I'm so excited to see the baby. Um, it's been so long and um, I'm just excited to see how things are progressing and how she's doing, what she's weighing at. Get in my handy mirror because I can't see the camera lens. I love it. I uh, got it from Amazon. It's just so handy. Super clear and the light is really nice on it too. My lashes are wild. I need a fill. Oh my gosh. They're like at the point where they're all like flipping and not cooperating so there's that. Put some sunscreen on first. Ah! Oh my goodness. I'm trying to hurry before Mo comes and grabs me to leave. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yeah, we're both really excited for the appointment this morning. It feels like it's been, it has kind of been forever and I've been kind of sad that I haven't seen her in so long. It's hard to describe. Um, so I hope today goes well. I know it will go well. I feel like, you know, it's normal to like worry a little bit or just be anxious about each appointment. Um, so we are doing a sonogram this time around. Um, I'm 28 weeks today. So as of, I believe 30 weeks, I go in every two weeks. And then as of 36 weeks, I think I go in every week. So time is flying. I can't believe I'm already almost 30 weeks pregnant. It's just crazy to think about. And then I also feel like with the holidays and everything coming up, time is just gonna move so quickly. So I'm trying to enjoy it. Um, I'm definitely feeling really good so far. I uh, can't complain. It's been really, really good. I've been working out. I've been staying active and feeling good throughout that. I noticed that my Energy is a little bit, kind of like, a little bit lower than it usually is, but not too crazy and not nothing too bad. But um, yeah, so just so pumped. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, primer just in my T-zone area, and then the rest of the day after. Actually, after our appointment, we're gonna go and um, check out, kind of tour the hospital and the hospital rooms because we have not done that yet. And then kind of just see what classes they have available, um, like prenatal classes and stuff like that that they have available um, for us to do at the hospital. And then Mo and I were probably gonna do some, um, we're probably gonna do some at uh, online, I think. I'm just putting a little bit of foundation on. This is the uh, Lady Gaga House Labs foundation. You guys know I've been liking this one lately, so I'm just gonna put a little bit 
on. Her foundation brush is awesome. It's what I'm using right now. I don't ever use a brush to blend out my foundation, but something about the bristles on this one and the way they made it, it really does work. Like I don't feel like I need to go in with a sponge at all. It blends it so nice and there's no streaks. So it's just made putting foundation on super quick and easy. And I kind of dread like when I sit here and I'm like, oh man, my sponge is not wet. I have to go wet it and everything. So this is just so easy. Yeah, the application is flawless. Put some a little bit under my eyes. I'm also gonna put a little bit of concealer on. And a little bit of bronzer. I really do need her to make a concealer brush. I like a smaller one so I can do my concealer really fast as well. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on. You guys know I've been using liquid lipstick to do this. Okay, and that's my base. I'm gonna go set everything with powders now. And you guys know I always use my Jimoshi powder, I love it. And I use also my Amazon powder puffs that have been so good. Later on today, I'm actually going to do a photo shoot with Ariel and um, my photographer and we're going to shoot some maternity looks that I'm excited for. So I'll have to come back and get ready for that too. My lashes are so sad. we're doing a little bit of blush on this is my new Dior blush that I got recently I love it bronzer
my other big brush is in their bathroom. So this will do. See you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> so we're here in our doctor's office right now. We're waiting on Dr. Rogers to come in. But we just finished the sonogram with our sonographer and oh my gosh, it went so well. And it was, uh, we got to see the baby's profile and face for the first time because we weren't able to see it at 20 weeks. So um, I'm officially 28 weeks now and one day. Uh, we were able to see the baby's profile. So I'll update you guys that as soon as we finish on that as soon as we finish. I'm birthing Mo. Like the baby looks just like Mo. So cute. Um, I don't know if I would have said it that way. <laughs> I'm bir birthing a Mo look-alike mini Mo. But yeah, so we're just waiting on the doctor. She's gonna go through our um, ultrasounds with us. Um, the sonographer was saying that the baby was measuring two weeks ahead, so 30 weeks. So they're gonna explain that to us now. Um, so yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. Welcome back. <laughs> now appointment went really well. Um, baby girl is healthy. We got to see a uh, 3D image of the sonogram. She looks like you boy, you know what I'm saying? This <laughs> She's fitting blessed. image of Mo. <laughs> Yeah, and um, staying on branches in the 96th percentile. So we have in the weight room early on, maybe going to be a power lifter, Olympic champion representing your country. So they were saying that I'm currently 28 weeks right now, but they were saying the baby's weighing as though I was 30 weeks. Yeah, the size, size, the of, size of the baby. So she is 3.6 yeah. pounds. Yeah, 3.6 pounds. And so the OB was like, she's going to be a big baby she's gonna be so i'm like yeah just prepping mentally for that but yeah the appointment went so well we're so happy and excited yeah. and we're just we're on our way home but we decided to stop at crumble cookie just to grab some stuff mo's gonna take me to ulta but the reason why we're stopping at crumble <laughs> cookie is because the, the the sonographer is that their title yeah yeah she said that the baby was uh, 30 weeks and our, you know, we're, we're back is 28 weeks. Yeah, so Beck thought that meant we're gonna be two weeks early But I said no, I think it's just a big baby. So we put a bet on it. We did doctor confirmed your boy is educated you know, so But I, I just feel I, I thought she was saying like oh, I'm actually they made a mistake with my due date I'm actually two weeks earlier than they thought uh, um, But no, it looks like the baby is just she's gonna be in the playground. She's gonna be a big, <laughs> big baby Move. Um, I was super small. I'm, I'm a twin. So I was like 
six pounds, I think. But Mo was I was almost ten. Nine, ten pounds. So it's looking like the baby's gonna be around nine or ten pounds. Just to put into perspective, my sister is currently thirty eight weeks pregnant. She is gonna deliver any time now and her baby is six pounds. Six point something pounds. So yeah, we're about to have a whole football yeah, player. Baby girl gonna walk around the cousins <laughs> like move. <laughs> Said move. So yeah, we're, we're really excited. So we're just gonna jump down and get some uh, crumble cookie and then um, Go home make some food. I have a photo shoot with Ariel today So I'm gonna get ready for that and here in a little bit and shooting a few other campaigns we have uh, An exciting campaign to do with a mattress company I'm gonna keep you guys posted on that because we are obsessed with our mattress Love it. Um, And yeah, so we'll see you guys soon at the house I am gonna make some breakfast but I'm just gonna start off by making my go-to smoothie lately I've been loving doing this because I can get all my veggies in and just nutrients um, in for the day so I'll show you guys what I've been doing so I put some spinach And then I have some celery that I forgot about, so I'm going to add a little bit of celery. Bit of oats. To make it, um, to blend it all together, I like to put uh, use frozen mangoes. So I will add some of those. I know a lot of people like to put ice, but I feel like the, the smoothie gets kind of watery if I put ice. I also have. Um, um, hemp seeds and chia seeds actually no we already put chia but I do have like a chia powder that I use sometimes um, I'm gonna add in some hemp and that'll be pretty much it and then I'll just top it off sometimes I add cinnamon um, sometimes I put nuts in it just to add a little bit of good fats in there and it, it kind of just depends if I'm eating it with a meal or if I'm taking it on the go kind of as a meal replacement or for breakfast. So I'll add more, more density so it fills me up a little bit. And then I also am going to put a little bit of ginger in there. Okay, you guys. So I managed to get myself together. I am... Getting ready pregnant is <laughs> is really tough. Um, I feel like I'm out of breath and tired, but we're here at the location. I'm actually just pulling up right now and I'm meeting Ariel to take some shots of these dresses that I just purchased from a company called Dish. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with the material. I can't wait for you guys to see them. Um, we're, we actually decided we were gonna go to another area but we decided 
to come to something a little closer to our homes because we live next to each other. Um, because number one, traffic, it's Friday um, and chaotic and stuff and finding parking out there would be tough. So we just came, there's a little cute little area by my our, our homes at a plaza um, that has some good spots that we could take some pictures at. So we're here now and we're gonna take some shots of, I got a few outfits together, so I am hoping that I can change into them. I don't know, we'll see. There might be a bathroom here somewhere, but yeah, I'm just waiting on Ariel now. I just parked and I'm excited. The sun is beaming. The sun's going down, so um, we're hoping to get some good photos before it gets dark, but yeah. I am excited to show you guys the final result. Ariel always is awesome at photos and just capturing things that I, like my vision. So I'm really excited. And now that I'm a little bit more pregnant and I will update you guys on our appointment too. Um, I'm hoping my stomach shows. So yeah, we'll catch up with you guys soon. I'll try and take some footage of us taking pictures. Bye. Okay, where should I put this? So we're gonna shoot which way, Ariel? This way? Here? Okay. So I'll put the camera here so it can watch us. 